if we don't do something now, we're just going to see more young people lost. Um, either to the streets or their lives. The provincial child and youth advocate has released reviews for 15 young people who died in a six month period in the province. These youth were in the system with an open child welfare file or had a file within two years. 13 of them were either adolescents or emerging adults. And so what we saw is that when they were younger, they received services that met their needs, but the older they got and the more complex their needs became, the more difficult it was for service provision to meet their needs. Terry Pelton, Alberta's child and youth advocate, says major areas of concern for these young people were a lack of proper housing and substance use. Nine of the deaths were directly substance use related. The advocate is recommending various provincial ministries create an action plan to address service gaps for young people with complex needs. In speaking to a couple of mums this past week who lost children and who are grieving but really wanted their their child's death to, to have meaning and, and make an impact for other kids, both talked about their kids deserved more and better and that they were still kids and needed help and they didn't always know where to turn. In 2021, another advocate recommendation was made for a youth substance use strategy, which hasn't happened yet. 12 of the 15 deaths represented in this report are Indigenous youth. In Calgary, Danina Falkenberg, City News.